teachers from around the world going online for the past month and a half submitting pain points that they have in the classroom. So we took those pain points and we said, all right guys, we can come up with solutions and we're going to use the teachers that are in the building with us to kind of help figure out a good solution that works well for the teacher and see what we can do this weekend. Scott called me up on Thursday and said, there's this cool thing called Ed Hack Day where we partner uh, teachers with developers and they come up with interesting solutions to education problems. And I love things that are interesting and I love coming up with solutions. And so I said, yeah, sure, I'll come out. Blending these two worlds is something that needs to happen a lot more frequently because I think the developers and the teachers do tend to operate in silos and it's just not benefiting everyone. So when we put the two minds together and we have the teachers saying, this is what I really need to be successful and the developers saying, we can do that. And then the teachers have it and they're happy and they know how to use it and it's exactly what they wanted. Baltimore School Watch did was we created almost like a U.S. News and World Report prank. This should be on the computer. This should be something that a computer can fix. Google Calendar it. What's due when it's an assignment tracking app for teachers and students? You become a great teacher by seeing and watching great teaching over and over again. Pedante, which is a platform for teachers to post videos of their teaching. If there isn't a direct voice of someone who's dealing with problems in the classroom, it, it's, it would be very easy for your product to just to veer in the left field. Number of working products that we felt met teachers' needs was remarkably high. The winner of the first ever Baltimore Hackathon is Digital Harbor. Now I don't expect to reinvent curriculum, we didn't expect to kind of reinvent how education is done in the country. But if we can solve a few problems this weekend, then I think we're on to something. <laughs>